boos. Uh, uh, I ain't been glaring my glasses. Long time no hear from. I know. Um, I really got to do better by making these pregnancy videos, even taking pregnancy pictures, because I did for the first like. 12, 13 weeks and then to me I was kind of growing but I wasn't really growing so I said I'm going to stop taking them till I grow and of course you know I was really sick and so I haven't um, been taking them. I took a picture like a week ago and I took a picture like three or four weeks before that so I have not and I know I'm going to regret that so my goal starting this week is to record a video every week even if I don't upload it that week, that's another issue. Not uploading it. If I don't upload it, I'm still going to record a video every week. And I have to get my picture in every week. I've not been doing that. And then i got to figure out what's going to be my outfit to do my picture in so it can look the same. I still have a good amount of time um, to do it. I am um, 22 weeks. Today is Wednesday, January... 10th, 11th, and so um, I'll be 23 weeks Saturday, 23 weeks my doctor says, I mean tw 22 weeks today I say, and my doctor says, um, um, what, 21 weeks and 6 days today, something like that, but I'm really 22 weeks and 5 days, but whatever, so, um, let's see, oh, let me show you my belly first because I hate watching videos and waiting to the end to see the baby like I hate it I personally hate it I know it's a good way to make sure you watch it kind of but let me show you my belly um, I know I'm out of order I do not do like my bra showing and clothes and stuff but I had a dress on and this undershirt on and when I took it off I was like oh my belly let me go do a video so or otherwise I have at least a black bra on to match it so I'm a little out of order but I said let me record this video while I'm home by myself and while I feel like doing it because I'm going to sleep by now okay so let me show you the belly um, mind you it's tucked in so I'm going to show you the nerd with it tucked in I just ate too. Sorry, my dog is being annoying. I just ate a uh, Um. Whew. So it's kind of glary out this white, white wall. But this is the side tucked in with my tights. Of course, pulled up and. Here's the front. <laughs> Pull back. And then here's the other side. So let me, I guess I can get a belly shot. <sighs> no stretch marks. I mean, I'm not even going to say yet. I'm going to say no stretch marks. So let's see if I can. Pull it down without showing all my goods. Okay. So there's the belly. And it's, I, I do have a tattoo that says Perry, which is my husband, but now it's also my son. So that's excellent. I might put like a to the second power. I'm thinking of something creative to do with that just so it'll be for two. And here's the other side. Wow. It looks much bigger for my last video on this thing so pull it back up okay so I don't know if it looks any different when it pulled out I just want to show you and y'all I wear these tights out because they're really like cotton tights they're not the, my other tights and my other tights I'm like pulling them up all day so like they have it's a hole like on the butt and you can't see it so Anywho, okay so I'm trying to keep this video short um so let's see any updates 
I have not been having headaches. Let's discuss that really quick. Um, I've always had a milk allergy. I noticed I had a milk allergy about a year ago, give or take some months. I would notice that the nights I went to bed eating cereal, I would wake up and have a headache. And the nights I didn't, I wouldn't have a headache. And so, but it was, it was really hit or miss though. You know, I could eat a bowl of cereal five nights a week and only get a headache twice. So it was kind of like, oh, okay, you know, if I don't eat too much or if I space it out, you know, it'd be okay. Well, I realized over Christmas break, um, I hadn't had a headache for like a week and then before Christmas break. And then the week of Christmas break, I mean, the last week, whatever, whenever it was, I was fine for like five, six days. And then that Monday, I think after Christmas, I ate a bowl of cereal. I had a headache. You know, I ate it Sunday night. So I had a Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday, I did not eat a bowl of cereal, but um, it, that, that's when it went away. It went away Wednesday. So I'm like, okay, I've been doing good for like two weeks. Have had a headache for like two weeks, but of course I'm on break. And when I'm on break, that's what I eat, cereal. Like all day I wake up, fix me a bowl of cereal, take the box with me so I can refill in my milk, eat it, I go back to sleep. That's what I do. And I'm like, what is the common denominator here? Also, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I had IHOP, had a glass of milk. That's what started it. Had a glass of milk at IHOP, had a headache the whole day, and then I had a bowl of cereal. So anyway, I'm going to find out it was the milk. Because I haven't had a headache since, and that was two and a half weeks ago. Um... I haven't had any milk and I haven't had a headache. So it might have still been the cavities. I know I was saying um, I had two cavities, which I do, but um, I don't think that's what was causing the headache. Because now, where I was having a headache every few days, if not for four or five days straight, now I haven't had a headache. So that's that. Also, prenatal vitamins. Um, I take Prenexa prenatal vitamins. Um, they're, I don't have any here. They look they're like brown. They kind of taste a little, not chocolatey, but they have a hint of chocolate. And I was getting the generic brand. Well, when I went this time with the generic brand, the day before yesterday, Monday, it was a different generic brand. And for some reason, that concerned me. I don't know why. Only because I chose this prenatal vitamin because I knew it didn't make me sick. Because someone had given it to me when they first found out I was pregnant. They gave it to me like my first month or two. So I tried it. And I requested it because it didn't make me sick. Long story short, I took it Monday night. And I took one Tuesday evening. An hour later, no, no, I'm sorry. A few minutes later, I started feeling nauseated. And then I didn't feel good the whole night. It wasn't really bad, but I didn't feel good the whole night. And then my stomach was kind of toe up all Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Good thing it went away. So I'm waiting today because today is Wednesday to see if... It's going to make me sick again. I went to the doctor today and he said that's possible because, of course, the fillers in it, the active ingredients are the same, but the inactive ones are not. Most of them are, but there are three or four that are different. So I'm going to take it one more time. And I've already spent $10 on it. And I don't know what are pharmacy rules if they take it back because it makes you sick. I don't think they do, but I don't know. So now I'm going to see if I can get the other one because I've never gotten sick off prenatals and I don't want to get sick now. So if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant or further, you know, earlier in your pregnancy, try to watch that. It's my fault because I waited till it was too late. I could have requested the same one, but I was completely out and I had actually been out for a day or two. This is my, I was like a day behind taking my vitamins. So I went ahead and took it. And hopefully it won't affect me again today like it did. I'm hoping and praying. So kind of watch that if you do generic prenatals that um, if they give you different kinds. Your body might like one kind that's ge generic but might not like the other kind. And they're supposed to be comparable to each other. Um, I think that's about it. Next doctor's visit I have to do the... Um, test for gestational diabetes. I have to drink whatever drink that is, but I heard it's not bad. Like the MRI drink, shake, drink, crap. Um, I think that's 
about it, guys. Um, nothing too. I mean, at least I don't have any bad news. You know, like, normally I'm coming on here telling you about sick I am and this, 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 and that, this, and that. I um, still haven't been getting any rest in the bed. It is a struggle at night. Um, it is a struggle because my hips hurt really bad. You got, you got to lay on your side. But that's what hurts. My hips hurt and my blood doesn't circulate in my legs. So that's a struggle. The doctor told me to start taking a bath every day. I got a shower. Either swim or take a bath. So I'm going to take a bath in a minute after I do my work. I'm going to take a bath and then I hope that at least helps. I know it's not going to be comfortable, but I hope it helps because I'm in pain all night. I mean, legs aching, hip aching all, this is all night. And I'm only five and a half months. And as you can see, I'm really not that big for most people for five and a half months. So it's like, why am I already hurting at night? Like I shouldn't be wrestling at night. And so, yeah. So... I think that's it. That's all for my updates I have this time. Um, oh, one more thing. <laughs> um, tired all day. Every day I get up. I don't want to get up. Then I'm at work all day. I'm, make, I'm helping my mind focus on getting off. And I know we all do that, but it's like for real, for real. Like I, If I go, let's say the subway, and I get the subway at 4.30, and if I get home at five o'clock and I get done eating by five twenty. By six o'clock I am sleep. Not napping. I am sleep for the night. Now some days I'll just lay in the bed, I won't fall asleep yet because I'll be on Facebook and doing stuff. But even then I'm sleep by like seven thirty. Every day. But there are days where I can come in literally and be in the bed and not that sleep by five thirty. Five o'clock. Four thirty. It don't matter. You name it, I'm asleep. So that's nothing. I'm like, isn't that too soon? And I guess you normally think that comes around six and a half, seven months. You know, your last two months where you're just like, ah. Oh. I'm like, I'm five and a half. Like, for real. I'm having issues that a seven month person has. And then I've been having drinks for the past two days straight that I've had my baby. But he was on time, so I'm not even worried about him being premature. He was on time. But do you know how that feels? To dream you had your baby and you're not even close. I woke up sad. I was sad all day yesterday. I really was. Cause I was like, oh man, I thought my baby was here. But I have until May. So I'm not rushing him. I want him to stay in there till he's done baking. But it still made me sad. So okay guys, be blessed. Um put any questions or any helpful hints down. I remember this is my first baby, so it's all new to me, but I'm also experiencing a lot of stuff that most people don't experience. So, any questions or any suggestions or any anything you have, feel free to ask me. Okay? Be blessed. This is mwah.